Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. So I'm doing a few odds and ends to the car tonight. Uh, it's just some random things that I've been meaning to get done. One of which is actually fixing the grill. The mesh on the grill, uh, two of the tabs actually broke off. Uh, I'm not sure why. What I actually ended up doing was JB welding them on. And then I added a few zip ties just to, for added security. But it's on there really well. So we're good to go. Um, I'll show you the backside real quick. So there's one zip tie there and then the tabs underneath. Not a big deal. I actually have a new one coming uh, from where I got this. So it's actually version two. So I'll be able to go over that of all the changes and everything. Uh, but I figured I would mention that um, just because it was something that was bothering me. So that's fixed for now. Temporary fix until I get the new one. Also, while I have the bumper off, uh, I actually got some Titanium Works hardware for the lower class garage bar. Um, I got some for the lower part right here, but you're not going to even be able to see them. Um, so I think I'm just going to put them up here because you can see that right through the grill. Uh, so it's super simple. I'm just going to pop them out and throw them in. I figured I'd throw this in the video since I got the bumper off and it's not very often that I have it off. So I figured I would get that knocked out. Uh, but after we button all this up, uh, I'm actually going to get the Perrin front end links done, which are right here. So we're going to get those done while the bumper is off and we have a little bit more clearance. Um, which is super simple. So we're going to get that done tonight, but I figured I would just kind of show everything else that I'm doing in the garage because I know you guys are interested. Um, so yeah, so let's get the uh, Titanium Works bolts on uh, and then we're going to jack up the car, get the end links off and um, we'll get that knocked out. So hang tight, I'll be right back. Just a quick little comparison. This is the stock bolt. This is the titanium works bolt, a little bit longer, not a big deal, obviously, because it, there's no end point, it just goes straight through, but so much nicer, so much more pretty looking. And you're gonna be able to see that behind the grill, which is really nice, so. All right, so let's get it on the car real quick, uh, and then we'll move on to the end links. All right, so I just threaded them in uh, on the top, and I decided I'm gonna throw on the bottom ones just because I have them. So they're just down there in the bottom crash beam. You're not gonna be able to see them, uh, but it's one of those things I just had you know, I got with uh, everything else, so might as well throw them in. Uh, plus, they look pretty, and it'll be a little surprise when you take the bumper off. So, <laughs> all right, let me go ahead and uh, tighten these up, and then we'll get the bumper back. <laughs> super subtle little mod you'll never be able to see them but hey i know they're there so it makes me happy plus it gave me an opportunity to clean up the bar since it's harder to reach uh, during washes and everything so super easy to clean up uh, and i'm really happy with the bolts everything looks really good against the white as usual all right guys so we got the new glove box in super i just got it from ebay really really good shape uh looks like it was from a 2016 uh, sti it's upside down but that was probably off of a wrecked sti but it's in perfect shape no scratches or anything. If you take a look, the one that's been on the car for uh, pretty much since I've had it. So when I got it, uh, I put a propane tank up in front and the handle scratched it without me realizing it. Um, so it's been, I've been rocking this for the past four years and I'm finally picking one up. The thing was $48, but it's super easy to remove and install. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get that put in real quick and, uh, and then I'll show you the after result. Yeah, we're done with it super super simple that literally took what three minutes to do very very happy there's no more scratches on the interior of the car uh it's been bothering me for four years so it's definitely time to get that done so yeah all right on to the next thing All right, so we got the stock end link off. This is the new Perrin front end link. Very, very nice. Exactly the same one that I have on the rears. Obviously a different shape for the rears, but these are what the fronts look like. Um, so I'm basically just going to follow the instructions in regards to where you put the spacers and everything. Put a washer on one side, put the bolt through, then put a spacer on the side where it connects to the control arm. Same thing up here, spacer on the side uh, where the sway bar is. And then you're gonna use your stock uh, 17 millimeter bolt. So 
Very, very simple. Let's do one here so you guys get an idea. So we're simply just going to take one washer. And then we're actually going to use the supplied grease. We're actually going to put it uh, on this side where it touches the bushing. So no squeaking or anything that happens. Um, the same thing on this side with the grease that they provide. So it keeps it nice and quiet. Before I put the bolt through, I'm just gonna take the grease here. Put some on the bushing on both sides. And I'm going to take the big bolt, one spacer, slide that through, or sorry, one washer. Then we're gonna take a big spacer, slide it on that side. So this is the side that is going to connect to the control arm and we're gonna do the opposite on top. Okay, so it's ready to go on the car. This is going to go to the top to the actual sway bar, and this side's actually going to go to the control arm on the hub of the car, and then we're just gonna use the stock 17 millimeter nuts. Then we're gonna tighten them down to 50 to 60 foot pounds, but I'm just going to use my impact because anything suspension related, I always go a little bit above and beyond uh, in regards to the torque spec, because anytime I use the torque spec, it always makes noise. So I always like to zip it down with the impact gun just so I know uh, it's down there nice and tight. So let me go ahead and get these on the car. All right, guys, so we are done. Super, super simple install. This is the passenger side. I'm going to torque it down even more once the car is back on the ground, when it's under load. Granted, I still use the impact gun, which is more than 50 to 60 foot pounds, uh, but still just to be sure, I'm gonna make sure I hit it with the impact gun once it's on the ground. But I'm gonna jump over to the driver's side and get that knocked out. I don't think I'm gonna film it just because it's the exact same thing. Uh, but yeah, super smooth and I'm happy those are on. Um, I'll definitely report back if I really do feel a difference. And I don't think I'm gonna really feel it, but it's something that's going to last probably longer than the car since the bushings in there uh, are made of poly and those things last pretty much forever. Uh, and the overall end link is just so much stronger than the stock end link. Um, so, all right, let me knock out the driver's side and get this finished. All right, guys, there's the driver's side. Just to document that uh, it is on, just like the passenger side was, everything looks good. Went on super smooth, everything came off nice and easy. Uh, so yeah, let's lower back on the ground, torque them down, get the front bumper on, and we'll be done with this video. guys so that wraps up this video i went for a little drive everything feels fantastic feels great uh, i'll give my feedback once i get a little bit more seat time i literally just drove around the block uh, just to make sure there's no extra noises or anything like that uh, but again i'll report back once i get some time with it see if i feel anything that's kind of what i was doing in the garage i figured i would just kind of document it since you guys are always interested in the little things that i'm doing and um you know it was just like a bunch of little things that i wanted to get done so the only things that we do have left over here uh, are the new gasket for the uh, downpipe to cap back which is going on when the awe touring exhaust is going on uh, i have the grim speed top mount intercooler silicone kit which is the throttle body hose right there that red one down there on the white pipe that goes to the turbo um, that's going on and i also have the carboy bushings i already have the short shifter uh, but i'm going to throw the bushings on now since i finally got them um, and yeah, so those will be separate videos, but yeah, guys, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions at all, be sure to ask them below, but in the meantime, keep it clean, keep it simple, and I'll catch you in the next one.